there's a time and a place where going under the car can be effective. This is definitely not it because of the range between me and the target. Distance equals time in a gunfight. If they're at 100 plus yards and I can get a good stable prone position and shoot under the car, okay. Hold on, maybe. Maybe. But you also gotta have, it depends right on how car. the car is oriented and things like that, we yeah. have a loophole. Let me tell you something. I've shot a lot of bad dudes on the other side of the car by bouncing rounds underneath that car. That was okay. um, my next. Yeah, like yes. you are stuck in an immobile position, especially if you start crawling underneath the freaking car. Yes. Which I, that's, I, I see people do that. Like, number one, if you actually get down here and see the clearance that you have, if you actually get down here and get a pistol out or a rifle out and see how much clearance you actually have, like this is not very realistic. You are totally immobile down there because you're going to be in this weird shooting position trying to shoot from that position and it's very difficult and you, you don't really have that much cover. You, you yes. really don't. Now, there, there are times where like the threat was over there where I could kind of get in a position where I'm angling and I have a little bit of actual coverage from both sides, maybe. But generally speaking, number one, getting down in a prone position in a gunfight, even at 100 yards, is just a bad place to be. Yes. I promise you, you will skip, you could easily skip rounds underneath this car and freaking kill anybody on the other side of it or shoot at their leg, which is the awesome method to get people down on the ground. They're back here, they think they're good, you're skipping rounds, next thing you know, you hit them in the legs, they fall down, and you skip rounds into their face, body, torso, arms, legs, shoulders, whatever else. Yep. So. Don't, I mean, stay away from the ground, stay away from almost anything that is going to immobilize you. We want to stay moved, we want to stay mobile, we want to be able to move quickly. Because, again, if they're over there and you're down in the prone and I start advancing up here real quick, how long does it take me to get from there to over here? Faster than you get it up. Three seconds faster than it's going to take you to get up off the ground and dust yourself off and get your shit together. All right? So stay off the ground. Yeah, that, that was ultimately the point there is no matter what your argument is for getting on the ground, mobility automatically defeats any argument to get underneath the car, right? I have to be mobile. I have to maintain situa situational awareness. I'm not going to have mobility or situational awareness by fo focusing on, up underneath the car. It's just not going to happen. Uh, any other questions on the vehicles themselves? That's, that's as far as we're going to take it. You could use pillars and stuff like that, but that's... Not, not necessary for this.